Okay, we are almost done. So basically, we need to create a client for our OAuth server. So we are going to create a hypothetical client that is going to be useful, for example, to print the photos. So we need to register that client in our OAuth server to provide access to that client and that client could use the credential for the user at the first time to obtain an access token for an hour for example and then of course print the pictures for example so then we're going to open our phpMyAdmin in the OAuth client and we need to insert a new client. So the ID is going to be one, it's going to be one. The secret is, for example, one, two, three, four. The secret code is basically a code that is only known by the client, not the user, not the resource owner now, only the client and the verification, the validation server. So in this way, the validation server knows that that client is a real client and can use the credential for the user and obtain an access token and then the name for this client is printer photos for example and go then we have here this client then we need to open postman here and perform the request to the OAuth access token using the POST method. So if we send, we can obtain an error saying that we need to specify the grant type. So we're going to issue the grant type that is going to be password at this time. Then they say us that we, we need the client ID. So what is the client ID? Well, the client ID that we just create a little moment ago. So Client ID is one, and then we need the client secret that is the same that we have in our database. One, two, three, four, send, and then we need the username and the password. So, username is fake at fake.com, and the password I want to use a random password to verify send so invalid credentials that is great and if we send the right password pass send we have now the access token that's great so at this moment the client send a request for all restful api sending his data his secret his id and the user credentials and obtain the access token to perform requests to all protected resources during at least one hour then we can use send a request for example to api version 1.1 for makers so we can send so in value request because we need to send the access token so i'm going to delete this access token is going to be equal the access token that we just obtained, sent, and perfect. So it's saying that we need the name and we need the form. So name is token, for example, and the form is one, two, three, four, send, and that's all. The maker is correctly added to the database. So congratulations, you have now a completely functional OAuth validation for the users and for the request so at this moment your restful api is completely more secure and of course more functional so i invite you to share comments or questions with this new section i know that you maybe need something more specific or something more advanced for example something like scoops or use another kind of grant or something similar so Please leave me your comments and your suggestion because I'm going to create new classes and improve this section with your comments and with your suggestions. So all of these are welcome. See you in the next classes.